The neoclassical period of art was in the late 1700s and coordinates with the French Revolution and the American Revolution of that time. The people wanted to rise up against their oppressors, the royalty or the English, um, but they couldn't really say so outright, so the artists of the time, like Jacques-Louis David in this painting, The Oath of the Harati, put in a lot of symbols to let people know it was time to rise up and it was the righteous thing to do. You see this repetition of the number three through the painting. Three arches, three men, three swords, three women. Three is this holy number of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. So it's letting people know that this is a righteous decision. You'll also notice that the poses are very rigid. They're not relaxed like the Renaissance. Here again, uh, in the death of Socrates, we can see again, the poses are very rigid, very geometrical. And it's like there's this morality message that instead of giving up on his ideals, he would rather die himself. So it's very dramatic. Uh, as some of my students would say, it's so emo. Well, that's, go that's what's going on here. And it's this morality message, this rigidity to geometry, and this looking back to the Greek and Roman idea of how things should be and how they should be governed. Even our own buildings in Washington, D.C., go back to the neoclassical style. These obviously weren't built back in Greek and Roman ancient times. These were done in the late 1700s, early 1800s, and are supposed to remind us of those Greek and Roman uh, beginnings of democracy. So any of the buildings in Washington, D.C. that are like this kind of remind us of the neoclassical movement. But even in America, we were doing these kinds of things within our art. So we have Washington crossing the Delaware by Emanuel Lutz. And again, we don't see the Roman robes, but we see these kind of blankets and cloaks around the figures. So that gives us that feeling of Greek and Roman. And the poses, again, are very rigid, very geometrical, and the morality message is Washington is leading the way and he will lead us on to justice and we will win against the British. So the morality message is there as well.